Hey YouTubers, Brad Guy here. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing this 360 view uh, by AI Track. It is a Bluetooth phone, phone holder and app that uh, does object and facial rec recognition and, or um, tracking. It is apparently tripod compatible, app integrated, it was 360. Uh, can hold your phone horizontally. Great for social media. So uh, let's try this out. They put not one, but three sticky circles on the top. These must mean these are so good they get stolen a lot, huh? I got this uh, partially because I wanted to, well, it's just cool, and second, well, there's a lot of cool stuff in it that I might be able to repurpose later on. It's uh, not really anything holding it in there, it's just in there. The base is just big enough to fit in the box, so I guess that's what keeps it safe. And there it is. Takes three triple A's. Has a three second timer. It says once you're in the camera mode, tap the timer stopwatch icon, tap once for three second, tap twice for ten second, press the shooting button, and get in place for pose. And the camera will automatically start shooting photos or video after three seconds or ten seconds. Has a facial tracking mode, and an object tracking mode and live streaming mode. Looks like uh, it uses oh, three AA batteries. I was sworn it said three AAAs. Oh, no, three AAAs. Um, 360 view by Track AI. Also says 360 view by iJoy, so that might be platform dependent uh, Android or App Store difference. Oh, uh, oh, yep, that is different uh, apps for iOS and Android. It requires iOS 12 and Android version 9 minimum. And uh, yeah, everything else we will find out shortly. Let's get some batteries in it and download the app and then see what's up with this thing. Bottom twist off, it seems. Yep, bottom twist off for the batteries. Alright, let's get some batteries in this thing, download the app and set it up, and see how it works. Got my trusty battery box here. Three fresh double A's. And you turn it on and it immediately starts turning in circles. So, you know, should go without saying, set it up on your phone before putting your phone in there. Alright, let us find, do this app set up. Three sixty view by Track AI. Uh, 
Um, no, we get a 360 view by iJoy. Install. Installing the app is 106 megabytes starting off. Just so you guys know for to be prepared for the for the new app download. Now it's installing, and we will open. started. Turn on the device, hold the power button until the red lights start flashing. Turn on Bluetooth on your device, check on the app if connection is activated. Oh, well, let's do this in order. There you go. Push and hold the button. The red light is flashing fast and now it stopped so let's try it again like are we looking for a slow flash or a, a fast flash because it just kind of flashes anyways okay uh, well, it's got a slow flash fast flash seems to tell it uh, that it is turning off it seems to indicate that it's turning off see it in my available devices so let's just click I'm ready hello I don't know why you need my device location I guess you need audio and video storage um, deny and don't ask again unless you tell me a good reason why you actually need location services no need to pair the device, just turn on Bluetooth to connect it. Disconnected. Bluetooth is turned on. Tutorial about support. Oh, and it turned itself off. Make sure the Chase 360 object tracking holder is on. The red light on the right will probably be flashing at first. Make sure Bluetooth on device is on. Load the Chase robot app and the holder will automatically connect to your device within six seconds. Okay, What's, what is the Chase robot app? Click here to download the Chase Robot on Google Play Store, Android. Android. Click here to download the Chase Robot on the App Store. I mean, it sounds like the same one. Alright, click here. Chase Robots. Looks like this thing comes in like a whole bunch of different names. It is by Track AI. Alright, well, let's actually open up the Google Play Store. This has already been over 20 minutes. Okay, 
let's try ch chase robot app. It is also 106 megabytes. May or may not be the same exact app uploaded with a different name. Started. Step one, turn on the device. Hold the power button until the light flash red. Step two, turn on Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on. Step three, check on the app if connection is activated. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there we go. I guess it absolutely requires location permission to connect with Bluetooth. Oh, look at that. Alright, looks like we're actually doing something now. Is there really a good way to do this? I don't like making crunchy noises with my phone, I'm trying to get it into a thing that holds it and keeps it safe. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sit behind us here. Oh, look at that. Look at that! Look at that! That's actually really cool! It's so cool! Okay, that, that was kind of... that was worth everything. That, that was definitely worth the hassle. Look, uh, can, you, can you point that way? Can you point it that way? No? Let's watch this thing from my view. Oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm right here. My face. You see my face. You kind of have to make an obvious face with this thing. Like a really obvious face. I kind of be a little creepy staring at this thing enough to get it working. I don't know if you guys can see my expression. This is what he detects as a face. Hi, Zanya. How does it, how well does it work with children? Yeah, you gotta move your face around. It doesn't detect a face on you at all. <laughs> put, put your face up a little closer to it. Oh, there it, there it goes. That detects a face. Just have to be really close to get it to activate, I get, it seems. Alright, now move side to side. That's pretty neat, huh? Uh, 
Oh, there you go. Once again, that is the 360 view by Track AI, by Chase, by iJoy. Um, the app I ultimately got to work was the uh, Chase Robot by iJoy, I think. Um, I'll, I'll pull it back up and put a link in the description for you guys. Uh, there, yeah, I don't know if it was uh, me not allowing the location settings to begin with, or what that prohibited Bluetooth connection, but I will get to the bottom of it just for you guys. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Um, see you guys again.